Hello. Today, I will show my solution for 2021 CSAT June mock exam math type ga. Most of them will be shown by slides only, but I will explain some of them which I feel that were hard or important in the exam. If you want to try the problems before watching this video, please see my previous video which is lecture 14. If x is between x1 and x2, then 2 to the x power is less than negative 2 times x squared plus 2, as seen by the graph. So if I plug 1 over 2 onto x, 2 to the x power becomes square root of 2, which is approximately 1.414. And negative 2 times x squared plus 2 becomes 1.5. So 2 to the x power is less than negative 2 times x squared plus 2, where x is equal to 1 over 2. It means that 1 over 2 is between x1 and x2. So the first statement is true. There is a line passing 0, 0,1 and 1, 1,2, which is y equals x plus 1. y equals 2 to the x power graph also passes these two points. Meanwhile, x2, y2 is on y equals 2 to the x power, and x2 is between 0 and 1. Then since y equals 2 to the x power is concave up, x2, y2 must be below y equals x plus 1. And since x1 is less than 0, x1, y1 must be above y equals x plus 1. Like the picture on the right side. So the line passing x1, y1 and x2, y2 must have the lower slope than y equals x plus 1. To express it by equation, we get this. So the second statement is true as well. As both x1, y1 and x2, y2 are on y equals 2 to the x power, and x1 is between negative 1 and 0, and x2 is between 1 over 2 and 1, we get this as a result. Meanwhile, x1 is apart from y-axis than x2 by the structures of two graphs. You will be able to understand intuitively by the picture below. y equals negative 2 times x squared plus 2 graph is a continuous even function and increasing and then decreasing. y2 is bigger than y1 since y equals 2 to the x power is an increasing function. So we can explain that x1 plus x2 is less than 0. Therefore x1 plus x2 is between negative 1 over 2 and 0. And by passing this process, we get this and the statement is true. So the answer is number 5. This question equals to the infinite sum of the area of the shaded regions. And the area of each region shows the form of the geometric sequence. So it is an infinite sum of the geometric series. Then what we need to find will the initial area in R1 and the ratio. Line AB1 is 3, line AC1 is 2, and the angle B2AC1 is pi over 3. Then by second Pythagorean theorem, we get the length of line B1C1. Angle B2AC1 plus angle B2D1C1 is pi. Since the quadrilateral AB2 D1 C1 is in the circle, angle B2 D1 B1 plus angle B2 D1 C1 is pi as well. So angle B2 D1 C1 is pi over 3. And then we can find that these two triangles are similar by AA similarity. So we can let these three lengths 3k, 
2k and square root of 7k with k unknown. Arc C1, D1 is equal to arc D1, B2 as their inscribed angles are equal. So line C1, D1 is equal to line D1, B2. So 5k is equal to square root of 7 and k is square root of 7 over 5. Besides, the shaded area in R1 is actually equal to the area of triangle B1, B2, D1. Using this triangle, we can get the area of the shaded area like below. And then, using the ratio of line AB1 and AB2, we can find the multiple R. So you will be able to get the final answer. F theta minus G theta is equal to the triangle DMC minus triangle HMC. So it is easier to find the areas of these two triangles in terms of theta. Both triangles share same baseline CM which is 1. Both line MH and MD have length sine theta, since both are the radius of the arc DRM. Meanwhile, the triangle HBM is a right triangle, and triangle ABM is an isosceles triangle as the length of line BM is 1 as well. So we can find angle BMH and angle AMD in terms of theta. The rest of my solution process is like solving limit problem. If you do not understand my solution, I recommend you to see my previous video which is lecture 3. In case of this problem, I used a chart to solve. The left indicates the way of choosing 5 pens. The above indicates that the ways to distribute the 5 pens to 2 people. Way of distributing 0 to 5 or 5 to 0 is 1 in any 5 pens. In this case, the number depends on which color the person who takes 1 chooses. For example, the number of this case is 2, since there are only 2 colors. In this case, the first person is taking two pens. In case of the first row, the person may choose one black and one blue or two blue pens. So the case is two. G of x looks equal to the absolute value of the derivative of f of 2 to the x power. But the difference is the limit is on the right hand side. Therefore, by differentiating f of 2 to the x power, we get s below. But since the limit is the right hand side, I can change by adding h to x. And depending on the value of 2 to the x power, this part can be 2 or 0. As you see, gx is not continuous at 1 and 2, but it is continuous at 3 because of the right hand side limit. If 2 to the x power is equal to 1, 4, 7, and so on, then gx is 0. If 2 to the x power is equal to 2, 5, 8, and so on, then the absolute value of f prime of 2 to the x plus h power is equal to 2. Therefore, in this problem, n is equal to 21 since there are 21 numbers of this continuity. And in the summation part, we can consider the case 2 only, since the case 1 is zeros. So we get the result as below. Please hit like if you like my video today, and subscribe and set up an alarm if you want to study more about math with me. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.